It is high time for graduation season for high school students and college students. And for one Texas state student, this year brought more hardship than she could have ever imagined. Yeah, she tells the night team's Lee Waldman she couldn't have gone through it without an angel by her side. There's a palpable excitement in the air at Texas State University as hundreds of almost graduates eagerly await for their names to be called to get their diplomas they've worked so hard for. So if you can get through this year, there's nothing stopping you, nothing at all. For the entire Mata family, they've just been getting through the year since they lost Tess last May. I know she had a really hard morning this morning getting out of bed, so it was really hard not having her sister here. Tess's picture filled her chair instead. The 10-year-old was killed nearly one year ago at Robb Elementary. Veronica and her husband Jerry holding on to one another as they watched Faith be recognized for graduating college and making it through the unimaginable. It's just a long time. I'm glad that it's finally happened and she's been proud of her. I know it took a lot out of her, so I'm very proud of her. From Faith's cap to her tassel and stole, you can see pieces of little Tess everywhere and feel her in the excitement of this moment. Her extended family, the loved ones of some of the other 21 victims, there to cheer Faith on as she jumped into the river holding Tess's photo. It feels bittersweet. Um, I'm glad that I could be here with all the people who are part of my journey. Um, though I'm missing Tess, it, it sucks, but I'm ready to jump into the future now. Her little sister visiting Faith in a dream, letting her know she's always there. I just like, I just feel comforted. Like, I, like I just know, like I just feel her all the time. Faith, again, we're all so incredibly proud of your accomplishment. Keep on shining. Faith has really big plans for the future, plans that were shaped in part by what her and her family went through in this last year. We'll have more on that story and more tributes to those victims and survivors of the Rob tragedy on May 24th at 9 p.m. in an hour-long Case at 12 News special. We're calling One Year In. Uvalde, back to you. Keep up to date with all of San Antonio's top news, weather, and so much more by clicking the like and subscribe buttons below. And once again, thanks for watching KSAT.